Miss Melanie Smith will be seen later on because this is the first round. It's nearing completion, and at this point, the United States with four in the lead. West Germany with 20, Switzerland 24, and Canada with 24. Still to come, fourth round rides by Great Britain and France, Bill, as we get some maintenance work done on the 15 fences here, and I don't think I've ever seen so many flowers, so many green plants, many of them native to California as we have here. Those are gladiolias, and there are just tons of them, and one of the problem fences here, uh, number nine is called Westlake Iron Gate, has some Italian cedars on the very outside of them, and uh, that's been one spot today where there has been a problem. Yeah, that's right, Chris. It's not only a very good-looking course, a pretty course, it's also technically a very challenging course. I think uh, Britt Dynamothy, the course designer here, who was formerly the coach of the U.S. Equestrian team, has built a real masterpiece. It's sorting riders out in exactly the right way. Here the We're back. watching here Victor Contador of Chile. Doesn't have very good credentials. His team is really pretty much out of it. The first horse was eliminated, so Victor's score is going to count no matter what it is. He is their best rider. That's why he's riding as the anchor man. But the course has really worked perfectly. It's uh, separated the sheep from the goats, as they say. There are very few par rounds, as you'd say in golf parlance, uh, in the clubhouse. It's been very, very hard to score a clear round. And the Chilean now with one knockdown or four penalty points. Going to uh, seven. Nice little double vertical with the spread. It's attractive. You, could, you can say nice little, <laughs> Chris. For the fellas riding it, it's huge. And for a horse, he just had a refusal at it. It's got water underneath it. It's been a very, very tough pair of fences to jump. It's a three-strider. Now he has it down. He has a run out at eight, and so he's going to have a very big score. Chances are we won't see Chile again today because they're going to eliminate the three worst teams from the first round and not bring them back in the second, and it looks like Chile might qualify for that. Tough situation to be in. To be an anchor man, know your score is going to count, know you have to get around, even though you have a horse who isn't quite good enough for the size course that's been built. There's the fence for the Italian Cedars. And the water jump. And of course, we saw a refusal. That's three points, where a knockdown is four, like there. So he now has a total of 21 penalty points at this stage, faced now with the triple in the very center, center stage of this arena. That's right. He's got some time faults, too, and that fence came down. He's working on a big score. It shows you how hard this course actually is. When you see Melanie Smith go around it, or Heidi Robiani, or Joe Forges of the United States, you say, gee whiz, anybody could jump that. But I promise you, this is a really challenging course, and I think just a masterpiece for Denema thing. And he's far beyond the optimum 119 seconds. Going over 135 now as he comes to that final fence. And doesn't jump that. Ends up with his time fault with a total of 42 and a quarter penalty points. We're at Santa Anita. The first round of two for the gold, silver, and bronze of the team Grand Prix Jump.